Morning guys, welcome back to Yak Shore Outdoors. Today we're fishing with Bobcat Britt from Bobcat Outdoors. We're going after catfish. My name is Anthony and today we're drifting for catfish and then if the drift bite dies down we're going to anchor up and uh, we're going to see how it goes. I know when we're drifting we're going to be using some vintage reels stuff that is older than I am, stuff that might be older than Bob is, I'm not sure. And uh, we'll see how it goes, so stick around, guys. Hey guys, Anthony's already hooked up. <laughs> Don't even have the camera going. Yeah, our first drift of the morning, fishing with the old school rod and reel. With the secret bait? Yeah, nobody knows about this bait, guys. Top secret. We can't even we can't even show it to you on camera. It's such a secret. How's it feel on that old fiberglass rod? <laughs> Different. <laughs> I'm guessing it's not as big as it feels. No, I you don't want to set the drag real tight on these things uh i'm using leather drag washers that's they all have, science that he knows i have no yeah. idea what that means they have a tendency to stick there he is oh that was fast holy cow Good show. Got You keeping them? Not that size. Not that, not that size? Okay. There you go. We are keeping some today, but yeah, good little channel he's a little bit too big. Yep. <laughs> Got another one, guys. I literally just recast out. It hasn't even been 30 seconds, I don't think. I know that's later. There we go. Man. That one's going home. <laughs> Bob's done it again. Like I said in my last video, we're using circle hooks. It, it's my favorite to use in current. Is it the most efficient? Maybe not. But, you know, the mortality rate with them is much better. So if you're going to be catching and release fishing, it's definitely a way to go. And here we go. Let's do it again. Oh. Come on, Antonio. Get the fish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're just taking turns catching fish. <laughs> uh, I mean, your line looks like. Or right. oh, you have a fish too? I think I got fish too, buddy. Hey, double, double buddy. Double Woo. <laughs> I'm fishing under you. <laughs> oh no. Mine's under you again. You got it. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Mine's under you again. Yeah, we're good. We're Oh, come on, get out from under the boat. Get out from under the boat. Oh, hey, there we go. Nah. Got a nice fat one. Well, oh, hooked up, ladies and gents. However, he's cranky. He's like, why can't I just have breakfast? There we go. Yep, talk to me. But yep, there we go, guys. 
Eh, probably a two, maybe three pounder. A little bit too big for us keeping and eating. But pretty nonetheless, let him go. Whatever you want to do, buddy. That's a fish. That's a fish. That's, that's a fish. See, it's moving. Oh, that's a fish, though. Beautiful. Not that dragon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, get a this might be the biggest one I got today. This fish ain't moving. <laughs> he ain't budging. Oh, come on. Oh, Bob, I'm so excited though, Bob. I'm so excited. Free line with some chicken. In downtown Chattanooga. Downtown Chattanooga. Bye, bye. He's racing the boat, Bob. He's racing the boat. He's right under it. Under the boat. He ain't moving, man. I can't get him to come up the bottom. Oh, come on, dude. Come on. Come on. Like always blowing bubbles. That's a good. <laughs> Guys, he's blowing his bubbles out. This is good fish. But say so you may want to maintain the boat, buddy. Oh, Bob, you got one too. Oh, crap. <laughs> Double trouble in downtown Chattanooga. <laughs> I don't think mine's small. Oh man, come on, come in front of the boat. Uh, oh. Bob, he's completely under the boat. Oh. Do I have a phone motor on? I think you do. Okay, well, that might help to turn it off. Oh. He's going, he's going back towards it. Get away from the motor. Okay, he's downstream. <laughs> it's going to be a good fish. For this type of line. Oh, yeah. It probably ain't no 70 pounder, but. Oh. This is what we were hoping for. Yep. Oh, come on. <laughs> haven't, even, haven't, ha haven't seen him yet man <laughs> haven't even seen him yet oh hey he's still blowing bubbles he's going back under the boat <sighs> oh my goodness look at the size of them That's oh big. dude yes that is a cool fish. Just take it easy, <laughs> i don't know if you guys can see that or not oh there it's a nice, nice blue cat Nice Tennessee River Blue Cat. Oh. He, he's not really done yet. No. Nah, <laughs> still a little gray. Good fish, though. Hooked right in the corner of the mouth, too. Yeah. There you go, Bob. I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! He's in the net. He's coming. Yes, sir. Awesome. Man. <laughs> that's a good fish on light tackle. On chicken, buddy. That's a, good chicken. Fish. that's a good fish on heavy tackle, man. <laughs> that's probably 25 pounds 
Oh, I don't think it's quite 25. I'm thinking 15. No I'm thinking 15. But still, that's awesome, man. No, he's got a belly on it. We're going to get him unhooked, guys, and we'll get a weight. I'll say 20 pounds. Bob says 20, I say 15. We'll see how it goes. Oh, my dude's back here just losing his mind. Oh, no, nope. Bob, Bob got 20 it. 20 pounds. 20 pounds on the money. 20.9, 20 20.4, 20 20.2. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's a 20 pounder. Man, oh man. All day long. It's good fish. Regardless. Yes, sir. That's no doubt a good fish. <sighs> Guys, we're going to let this guy go back. Try to catch him someday when he's 50 pounds. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> he didn't want to play no more. There he goes. Just cruising to the bottom. Go. <laughs> got another one. Uh, oh man. Okay. Hey, I'll let you go, buddy. We got big fish on. Hey, we'll see. Big Not as big as that last one. Although the drag set tighter, he's still pulling good, so maybe. I don't think he's 20 though. Well, I say that. <laughs> he let me have it. Oh. He definitely found a honey hole. Don't tell Joe about it. <laughs> right. Oh. Nah, I'm just kidding. Joe's probably fished here before anyway. Knowing him. Maybe, but. He's got me in a snag, Bob. He's got me in a snag. Oh, he came off. He broke, he broke off. Oh. No. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you heard that or not. That's why we got off the water. But uh, three takeaways from today. I'm sure Bob agrees with me. The only reason we caught fish, we found out what they wanted. We found out how they wanted it. They, they wanted chicken for whatever reason. That was the secret today. And they wanted it to be drifted naturally through the current seam not sitting there anchored um we hit we definitely tried both the drifting was definitely the way to go uh like i said he's got four in the live while he's in the make sandwiches with later i don't know how many we caught for sure um uh, was definitely a handful uh it was definitely a good day including that 120 pounder on 10 pound line we lost two really good fish have no idea how big they were and never saw them uh, that's just part of the dangers of using light tackle, but using these vintage reels, I'm impressed. I'm not going to lie. I I would not have thought to use a 1965 reel or whatever the other two are, how old they are. I mean, like, they they have a lot of, uh, they have a lot more give and a lot more power than you'd think. Uh, Bob made the comment that people just don't make things like they used to anymore. You know, he works on these reels as a hobby. These old reels, he gets them from antique stores or from yard sales and fixes them and stuff and people bring him stuff to fix i mean he's like he's a he's a wizard he's a, he's a guru when it comes to fixing reels and uh it was definitely a blast i would definitely do it again and i would definitely consider picking up one of those vintage reels if uh, your grandfather has one and wants to give it to you don't just don't just throw it away it still works might need a little help tender love and care but it still gets a good fish guys and uh Again, that's what it boils down to is fishing. You know, we, we were out until as long as we possibly could. We got off the water because of lightning. Um, this is the, one of the reels we used today. It's a Mitchell 300. Then there was the, uh, there was two Shakespeare's. One was a 2062 and I can't remember what the other one was, but they're both 2062's. So yeah, no, they were good equipment. <laughs> Old fiberglass rods. I mean, it's, you know, almost everybody uses graphite nowadays. It's uh, 
totally different ball game compared to what it used to be but it all still works we all still caught fish we had a good time and i appreciate bob and him taking me out on a boat say goodbye bob bye bob <laughs> like i said he's from bobcat outdoors i'll have his channel in the link below in the description for you make sure you check his stuff out he's definitely a he's a good guy he's a good family man good at catching fish and uh, it's always a pleasure fishing with him and uh, until next time take it easy tight lines and we'll see you next time on yaksher outdoors